I want you to think about eternity for a little bit today and, and what you are going through in your life right now as your day-to-day -day, uh, life goes on. In Hebrews 11, 15, and 16, it says, If they had been thinking of that land from which they had gone out, they would have had opportunity to return. But as it is, they desire a better country, that is, a heavenly one. Therefore, God is not ashamed to be called their God, for he has prepared for them a city. Now, Hebrews 11 is known as the faith chapter. And I want you to think about as you receive Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, as the land from which you are going into, and you have left behind the old land, the land of living in the flesh, the land of the world. And then think about what this says, thinking of the land from which they had gone out. We're leaving behind the world. You have an opportunity before you receive Christ to stay right there or to return to that world. But it says, as it is, they desired a better country. We desire something better, and that better is found only in Jesus Christ, the heavenly one. And God's, when we receive Christ, God's not ashamed to be called our God, for he has prepared for us a city, heavenly realm, heaven. Think about that this day. You can go back to the old world if you want. But why would we when we have faith in Jesus Christ and know that he died on a cross for our sins? And now we have something to look forward to. So we live this day with heaven in view, trying to please God in everything we say and everything we do, living a holy life before him because we have somewhere better to go, leaving behind the old world. So read Hebrews 11, 15, and 16 and think about what you have left behind and what you are striving for and give God all the glory and praise this day. God bless you. Have a great day.